Hey everybody here at Thunderstruck Gaming, my name is Hyena and this is my first time uploading in Thunderstruck Gaming but before I get onto the topic of this video, I want to give out a huge thanks to Thunder for letting me upload. This will be my first time uploading here and and yeah it's just, you know, it's exciting to be on this huge community channel. I really don't know anyone else who does this kind of stuff for extremely small channels, you know, like myself. But yeah, since Thunder is letting me upload here, I might as well get on with the video. Now the topic I'm going to be talking about today is that, can Call of Duty be saved? Now I know a lot of people here probably want to say no, and a lot of people here are going to say yes. I don't want to start a flame war here, I'm just giving up my opinion. But I do think Call of Duty can be saved. Ever since the 3 year cycle has been implemented, Treyarch ha now has 3 years to work on a game. Infinity Ward has now 3 years, so now Chemers, you know, uh, is this Sledgehammer or Ravenclaw? What, 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 Ravenclaw. What, whatever, what, it doesn't matter. So yeah, three developers this time, but each one get three years, except for the new one. I think it's Sledgehammer, yeah. But, you know, they only have this year to make it, because it's coming out 2014. But that's going off track. We've all played Treyarch games. Treyarch games are fun. World at War, before it got modded to hell. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. Zombies were fun in that, multiplayer was fun in that. Besides all the bullshit in Black Ops 2. But yeah, we all admit that Treyarch games were fun. Now that Treyarch has this three year cycle, they can finally make a good Call of Duty again. Black Ops 1, I say, was the best Call of Duty ever. World of War, it was good, but Black Ops 1 had it good. Like, the snipers and everything, no quickscoping, you know, where you had to actually have skill for quickscoping. Not aim assist, you know, like Black Ops 2, Ghost, Modern Warfare 3, but we don't talk about that though. That game never existed. Most people here would probably disagree with me saying that Treyarch can pretty much save Call of Duty at this point. With the three year cycle they have, they can probably make a decent Call of Duty, you know, they can probably make a very fun one. At the most, they'll probably make another DLC for Black Ops 2 with these three years they have, you know. If they do, eh, I'd be happy. I love playing Black Ops 2, so. But I just hope they take their time making this Call of Duty, you know, since Sledgehammer's coming up with theirs uh, this year. It's like I said, they should take their time, make the game fun enjoyable and don't have bullshit they can do this i know they can and with the three-year cycle implemented i really believe that call of duty will not be coming back on track like i was in call of duty 4 all they gotta do is just not take it for granted they have all this time here i just hope they don't take it for granted i mean games like titanfall now i can easily see it getting like you know a sequel but that's not the point here if it wants to compete with other shooters like titanfall they really need to take their time and don't, you know, they just can't have this time and you take it for granted, you know? Because look at Call of Duty Black Ops 1, that game was fun, Black Ops 2, it was rushed. It was slightly less fun, but more fun than Ghost right now. World at War, that was Treyarch's first game ever in the Call of Duty series. Amazing. It was fun, it was something new we never had, Black Ops 1, the same thing, you know, we've never had this kind of multiplayer experience. Black Ops 2, when futuristic, not a lot of people liked it, but it was more fun than Ghost. And with these three years Treyarch has, I really want them to pull out the name Call of Duty, make it something good again. The most recent Call of Duties we had were not that great, I will admit. But with the three years they have, they can really just take the name out of the, you know, the very bad FPS shooter genre. They can make it something fun again. I really believe that. So yeah, what do you guys think was the best Call of Duty that Treyarch ever made? World of War, Black Ops 1, or Black Ops 2. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to Thunderstruck Gaming, and if you want, come on over by my channel and subscribe to me. Until then, like always, I stay on my channel. I'll see you guys later.